the third class of musicality. We wanted to work more on what we would call the more like the dramatic type music. You know, this is the one that we all like because we see it in performances. You see the poses. Um, every time we get new people, they always want to dance like this. They're really dramatic, you know, even with the rose. So, how we started with this was first just to show how the walk looks different and feels different compared to the rhythmic and the smooth, right? The rhythmic, we always think of being, uh, for a better like a term, a little more bouncy. So sometimes when we walk with more rhythmic music, we may even uh, tap in between. The smooth style, well, the smooth style, the word in itself says it. It's smooth. We always think of that as being something maybe in our heads or emotion, like more romantic. So I wouldn't probably tap in between every single one. The, the, the steps themselves, the collecting would naturally be uh, smoother. It wouldn't be a sharp staccato type movement. For the dramatic, it has to have that, again, listen to the word, dramatic, right? So the word for us, we always think about that when we're dancing with something that has that, that sensation, that it's more like you're walking in, in honey or molasses. It has to have this heavy grounded that you're not dancing on the floor, you're dancing in the floor. second part of that class, we started telling everybody to start listening to music and notice those moments of when it has that heaviness, the vroom, especially when you talk about like Pugliese, right? That it has that vroom, like they say, right? And then moments of where it smooths out and does more that like legato and you have those kind of quiet moments. So now they have to walk with that heaviness and then when they hear it a little bit slower, slow down, then draw it out. Kind of like we did in the smooth songs, that we draw out and you don't step on every beat, that you let it hang out there for a beat or two. nice thing about more uh, dramatic or music that does change a lot of that, that even if you're there for four, five, six beats, it still looks like you're dancing to it as long as you're not standing there just like a statue. So the third part of the class, we kind of continue with that same theme. We still walked when we heard that beat, that zumba, zumba. Once they heard the music start slowing down, at that moment, we went into a parada. We had two sides, so guys, we either went to the open side of the embrace or to the close side of the embrace. It also gave the ladies a chance to decorate on both legs. We didn't really work on a particular decoration. We just told the ladies, milk it. Do something, especially if the music is a little slower. Guys, this is the moment that, listen to the lady. What do you feel that she's doing? Or if she's not doing anything and you have to go on.
make the steps simpler so it's easier to lead and it's easier to follow the music.